guys, I'm over here at the CRKT booth with Ben, and we're gonna check out some cool knives. Uh, I was asking him for kind of urban friendly, business friendly type stuff, uh, like kind of my target audience, and he uh, pointed me to these ones. I liked all of them, so we're gonna check them out in a little bit more detail. So Absolutely. Give it to Ben. Thank you, Cliff. So my thought here is small EDC, handy to have around. Let's start out with the squid. This is one of my favorites for the year, designed by Lucas Burnley. Comes in two varieties, you got a black stone wash as well as that satin stone wash. Fun to flick, um, fun to carry. Yeah. You got a deep carry pocket clip on it, 8CR13 MOV steel. A little lanyard hole there too. A little lanyard hole, and it is a smaller knife. I, I don't know if you can see this in camera, but you got, my pinky kind of hangs off that end, so if you did want to hook a lanyard on there, it's gonna fit nicely in the hand. Just under two inch blade, so I know in a lot of areas you can't have yeah. over three inches. Yeah. So this one's gonna be nice, but useful to have in hand. So, frame lock on it, just a solid little blade. Yeah, definitely yeah. not intimidating at all either. I told him I, I like, my first thing I look for in knives is a deep pocket clip, just because I don't, when I'm walking around in the office, I don't want people knowing that he has a tactical looking blade there. So if it's the deeper, the better for me. So all of these, I seem to have that. Absolutely. And if you're into customizing, I don't know what your crowd is like, but I know a lot of guys like everything. Yeah. yeah, a lot of guys are customizing knives right now. This one is like a blank canvas. You got that stainless steel there. Yeah, just engrave it up. And yep, up. engrave it, take a file to it, whatever you need to do. It's cool. Very I don't know, cool. a lot Very of guys cool. are pimping knives, so. <laughs> Pimp my knife. Pimp my knife. No, I'm serious. That'd be a, that'd be a cool I guess, I guess the official name would be like embellishing, but yeah. man, there's a lot of guys pimping knives out there. Yeah. All right, next one is called the Journeyer. Yeah. This is basically a slip joint knife, yeah. so it doesn't have a locking mechanism, right? But uh, glass. Very lightweight. Yep, glass reinforced nylon handle, so it's super lightweight. Very deep pocket clip. Yep, and that pocket clip actually extends beyond the butt of the handle there. So, uh, no, is, is this the one with the little trick that it has here? It's got the, a little trick. I'll let you you, you want to show them the little trick? Yeah, let me show, show them the little trick. Now, what size is this? Uh, now, this is a T6 hex head screwdriver. And then what do you do? You put it... Uh, so you can use it in the pivot and adjust the pivot. And then you can also... Let me show you. It's yeah. on the back side here. Oh, there we go. You can also lock up that pivot and use it as a fixed blade. So, I get it in there. you kinda gotta just push it in a little bit. Some are a little tighter than others. Let's I'll see. let you, let you yeah. try it. I just saw it, so I'm... <laughs> there we go. There it goes. Um, but basically, if you're working on a project, you need a, a knife that you yeah. know is not gonna close on you. Let's say you live in an area <laughs> where you can't have a locking folder. Yeah. But hey, you're on a job site. That's perfect, yeah. You can lock that up, and uh, it's easy to get out. You just push that button right there. Push that uh, screw, yeah. that uh, torch wrench out. And I love the, uh, that feels good too. Yeah. So awesome. I love how lightweight it is. It's Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Absolutely. And then that torch wrench just stores right there this in the. Another one good for pimping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would pimp this one. Yeah, no. Pers personally, you know? This, this one's worth pimping. This one's. Good as is. All right. Good as is. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about this one. The, this one, uh, this one. He, when he brought it out, I was like, oh, it's, I, it's like butter. I, I kind of read Cliff, and I said, like, this is going to be a good one in his style as flair, yeah. you know? <laughs> this is called the North Cliff. It's a Steve Jernigan design. You got a stainless steel handle with kind of a high polish, high mirror polish on there, yeah. as well as a, a wood inlay in the handle there. And uh, it opens with your nail nick. It is a liner lock, so to close it, yeah. it's right there. Opens with that nail nick. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, are you familiar with our I, um, IKBS system? Uh, we'll talk you know about what that it, is? Yeah. So, IKBS is a ball bearing pivot system yeah. in the pivot of the knife. So, this one we actually put I, IKBS on it. Okay. So, it opens nice and smooth. Kind of an interesting it's departure because normally you'd have a flipper on it. But yeah. uh, this one's yeah. no pocket I, clip on it. I love this one. It's, I mean, it's a real gentleman's type knife. Uh, uh, Stefan Schmalhaus, I imagine, would love this one. I just, just the way it feels. I love Stefan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. He's great. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna do a book review on Stefan's book. He just had to come out, but it's all in German, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna yeah. do it because I don't speak German. But anyway, Stefan's one of my favorites. Ste right. Stefan would love this knife. He so would. Stefan, are you watching this? You gotta get this one. Stefan, we love you, man. Ben says so. I say so. Yeah. Stefan, gentlemen. If I could knife. say it in German, I'd say it in German. Yes. <laughs> Prost. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Says <laughs> cheers, like a cheer. Ah. All right. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, this this one this is right on my alley. I, mean, I just love how that, that feels. It feels fit, fit and finish on this one is really solid. Yeah, really solid. Just a beautiful love piece. Love it. Love that one. Yep. Uh, let's see a couple right. more. Yeah, let's talk about this one. This is called the Drum Fire. Basically, small neck knife, fixed blade. Yep. You got just under two inch blade there. Um, but, but the thing I like about this one 
It is a smaller knife. When you get it in hand, you got a lot of purchase. Yeah. You got that thumb ramp there. With the lanyard up top. With the lanyard, yep. You got that jimping there. It feels really solid. It's a chamfered edge, so beveled. Not going to hurt your hand when you use it. It'd definitely be fun to customize the lanyard too. I, yeah. I always get Seahawks themed lanyards. So are, nice. are you in Oregon? Are the Oregon like Seahawks? You know, I'm not, really. I'm not a big sports fan. Not a sports fan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You got big hands too. I do have big hands. You have way big, big hands. I can see that. Sausage hands. Uh, hot dog fingers. <laughs> look, look at that. Back of hot dogs. Love it. <laughs> But yeah, even then, that lanyard, yeah, that that lanyard helps yep. out. That's a must. in your hand. That's cool. Yep. I love how thin that is, too. Look at Super that. Super thin. So this one actually comes with the lanyard. Yeah. And uh, it also comes with this J-clip on the sheet. Yeah, we were talking. Yeah, that was cool. So it comes with your lanyard. You can attach it, weave it into whatever you want. But it also has this J-clip right here. And that's going to hook onto your belt. So the way that works, you just come in here, get the old crotch shot. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> We are in Vegas. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, you know, do what's got to be done. Yeah. Anyway, it goes right on there. And so cool. when you draw the knife, sheath stays, that J-hook stays, and then you can resheath. Yeah, that's tight. And it's easily concealable. You'd have no idea I have that knife on me. Very concealable blade. So called the Drum Fire design. The drum Fire? Yep. By, uh, no, hang on, there's two of them. This one is, yeah, I got it right. Okay. Oh, man, last day of SHOT Show. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> It's, uh, everyone's getting, it seems like they're getting a little tuckered out. Oh man, I'm, I'm no, I got so a, tired. There's a nice little customization right yeah, there. Yeah, you can customize that. Look at that Look Seahawks, at Seahawks lander there. I, now, if, I were, if I were rooting in the Super Bowl, I would definitely root for the Seahawks. Yeah. Northwest pride, right? Yeah, Northwest. Northwest has uh, great football teams, great beer, and great knives. So. And, and beautiful people. Yeah, good people like that. <laughs> awesome. And I think we have uh, time, one more yep. we're going through. Last one here is called the No Time Off. If you uh, are familiar with Flavio Toma, he is an excellent designer. This is his latest model. Um, Flavio invented the uh, IKBS system that we already talked about. So this knife has IKBS. It's got a BD1 carpenter steel blade. So nice, solid. So he invented that, though. That's, that's his the IKBS. The, yes. Okay. He's the, the godfather of IKBS. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. I, and uh, yeah, it's actually a. If you're into like patents and stuff, it's yeah. an open source patent, so anybody oh, can cool. use it. Like, anybody. like programming. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, you got a hollow ground blade, BD1 steel, glass reinforced nylon handle. Yeah. And uh, what we've done with this classic locking liner here, yeah, it's this is Flavio's invention. Basically, he said, look, I work in a shop a lot. I get lint, I get grease, I get all sorts of stuff into the pivot of that knife yeah. and into that lock face. So what can happen is that lock face, if it gets stuff in there, it won't get a good contact. Yeah. And uh, it can actually fail. So what we've done is we stuck this little elbow on here. It's spring-loaded, and the way yeah. that works is to close it, you just pull down and um, push over. Pull and push. Let me get a good shot with my hand here. So it's your typical locking liner would just be over. This one just pull down, push over. Super simple. And I, I loved how the, the pocket clip on the on the, the side like that is real. It's yeah. still it's still deep, but it's real yep. a unique type design. Yep, absolutely. That one just feels good too. That's it be, does. Really great for uh, for hunting type of skinning. Skinning shop knife. It's cool. Not a long blade either. It's just under three inches on the yeah, blade. Perfect. So if you are, it's designed as kind of a mechanic shop knife. Yeah. If you're cleaning things, getting inside of small small parts, small parts of the car, it's gonna work nice. All right. I think we got through all of them. There so again, we're at CRKT over at Shot Show 2015. Awesome. But Ben, that was Thank awesome, man. I want to come down there and visit you guys. Do it, man. So you get, some, get some micro you, over at uh, Deschutes and then get some <laughs> hot knives some more. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. If you leave comments in the comments section, check out CRKT. I'll put links to all this uh, as I can. All right, man. See ya. All right. Thank you, Glenn. That's cool, man. That's fun. Yeah, that was really fun. I, Hopefully, people like it. I get a